Alrighty boys and girls, this is our first video, it's actually been requested, um, not on the channel, but on some Facebook pages I'm in, trying to help out some guys. And the question is, if you have a split axle trailer, and you need to get your axle weight on a three plate cat scale, how do you do it? Well, I'm going to explain to you. Now, first let me explain why would you want to know this. I mean, if you go on a three plate scale and do a regular cat scale, like I'm sure many of you hopefully know how to do already, it's going to give you your trailer axle weight, so why would it matter what your individual axle weights are? Well, first off, let's explain the difference between a spread axle and a split axle, for you that don't know. This, ladies and gentlemen, would be our pretty typical tandem axle. Two axles break close together, only about a foot between them. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what's known as a split axle, usually found on flatbed trailers, but can also be found on reefers and box bands too, and there's like 10 feet between the axles and this one. Okay, again, why is this important? Well, if you grab pretty much any Rad McNally Road Atlas and open up the front here, probably would have helped if I dogged near the page. Okay, under weights and size limitations, on the left hand side, you're going to have all your states all the way down. You look, your first column is your steer axle, which most of these you're going to see the pretty typical 12,000 pounds, some are higher. Um, and you got a column over here, it's a third one in, it says tandem axle, which is typically your trailer. You see there's 34,000 pounds, um, some have 38, some are 34. Now oh, there's a couple of run 40. That depends on axle spacing, 37, 40. But you look, 34, 34, 34, 34, most of these will be 34,000 pounds, which is pretty typical. Now this is where your split axle comes in. If you have a split axle trailer, um, typically you want like a 10 foot split. There's a couple different ones, 10 foot's the most common, but you got a 10 foot split, this table does not apply anymore. You have to jump over here to single axle, which if you look, you can run 20,000 pounds per axle instead of per axle group, which is tandem. This is both axles combined, can't weigh more than 34,000. If you got a 10 foot split, you get to jump over to two single axles, which can weigh 20,000 pounds a piece, which means on your trailer axles, you can have 40,000 pounds. And if you look, that is most states will let you do that. It's only a handful that won't. So, now, I will say that if you have a split axle trailer and you go up on a three plate cat scale and you weigh, typically whatever your trailer axle weight is, which would be giving you normally your tandem weight, you can just divide it by two and that'll be pretty dang close. Because when you have a spread axle, it almost goes pretty close to 50-50 on each axle every time. It won't be exact. Sometimes I've seen it be a couple hundred pounds one way or the other, but it'd be pretty close. But if you want to know exactly what it is, we're going to explain how to get an axle weight on a three plate cat scale. Alrighty, boys and girls, real quick video for you because I know a lot of people have been asking about it. So we're going to make a video on it. How to do a split axle trailer way on a cat scale. Bear with me a minute, we got to wait for this guy to get done. Alright, on most all cat scales, it's going to be what's called a three plate scale, which means it has three weighing plates. See in front of us, you got a back one, a middle one, and a front one. Now drive up on the scale like you normally would if you're weighing a tandem trailer. Now the back pad is going to weigh your trailer axles, the middle one will weigh your drive axles, the front one weighs your steer axles. Pretty typical. So what do you do if you got a split axle trailer? Well, you're going to drive on here like you normally would. Stop up by the sign. Now, if you don't have the app, you just reach up and push the call button. Now you can ask them if they know how to do a split axle way, in which case they're just going to save information for you and enter it in, but in my experience most truck stops have no idea how to do one, it's rare when you find one that does. But it's no problem, what you're going to take a do, push the intercom button or open up your app and do your first way. In this case I'm going to use the app because it's just easier for me. Okay, with the app open here, first thing you do is enter in your location, click confirm, double check your information, click next. You're going to come up with the screen, you're going to select first way, if it comes up, sometimes it won't. And click accept. And boom, there's your axle weights. Now that's your standard cat scale. Now to get the individual axles on your trailer, we're going to do a little bit of finagling. Okay, now we got our first way. You got to pull forward, but not off the scale. What you're looking to do, I'll jump out to see a little better. You're going to split that yellow line that would normally be between your trailer axles and your drive axles. You're going to put one trailer axle on the middle plate, one trailer axle on the back plate. 
I'll make more sense when I jump out here, man. Let me pull forward. And if somebody's behind you, you might have to jump out and ask them not to pull on as you're pulling off because you're not done weighing. Right about there. You want to try to get it as even as you can. Show you what it means here. All right. So we got the front plate, steer axle. Middle plate would be for your drive axles. Back plates for your trailer. But see, we got our front split axle sitting on the middle plate that would normally be for your drives. Back axle sitting on the rear plate that would normally be for your trailer. Make sure the yellow line is roughly in between them. And then if you're using the intercom, you just get out of here, push the bottom button, tell them in the speaker you need a reway. Or in our case, we're going to use the app and just get a reway that way. Okay, you're going to come up with this screen again, just enter your location information and then click confirm just like the first time around. I'm gonna come out and double check your information again, same as you did before and click next. Now at this time when this screen comes up you need to select reway instead of first way down here at the bottom. Reway is usually always cheaper, click accept. And here are your split axle ways. Now what's going to work out is your drive axle becomes your front trailer axle and your trailer axle becomes your rear trailer axle. But those give you your individual weights and if you note they're not off by more than 680 pounds. Like I said they'll typically be pretty close to 50-50, they won't be off by much, depends on what and where your load's sitting. And that ladies and gentlemen is all there is to weighing a split axle trailer. After you get your second reway, that'll tell you what your trailer axis is, you're good to go. Well, that boys and girls all there is to weighing a split axle trailer to get your axle weights. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful and answered some questions for some people. If you have any other questions you need me to help you with, leave me a comment. Maybe we'll make it a future video.